disc brake and then the oh my god oh my god dude I'm freaking Nobody pray for me It been a day for me Yeah yeah So Ray's welding an exhaust uh, brace like I did because look at this shit. No good. It, that muffler is way too heavy just to have like hanging off there. But he finished his exhaust. He made like his own thing. We've been using scraps of this go kart over here. I was brainstorming yesterday of how I'm gonna do my disc brake on my scooter, and I think I just figured it out. So I took the front wheel off scoot whore and I'm cutting it apart, and I'm taking like the disc. Hold on, let me show you this. Oh, front disc brake, and then this thing that's welded to the rim right here. Oh, fuck. I'm going to do the same exact thing onto my back wheel. So I'm going to cut this off, this whole thing, and uh, it's going to sit like right about, right about there. And then I'm going to run a bracket from here and from also on that motor mount, and that's going to su be supporting my caliper, which I also have over there. And then I just need to order a line and a left um, left rear brake. And then I'm going to be Gucci. This is also the caliper coming off the front. So that's it. I just have to figure out how to mount that up. So I'd have the caliper sit about like right here. And that's how we'd have that work out. What sucks is the way that this is, I can't really get in here with this without it being super sketchy hitting the rim. Um, I don't have a smaller one. So what I'm going to have to do, I have a smaller one, but the way that that thing's designed is not going to work. So I have to use this one, but this one's used by the air compressor, and the air compressor is weak, and it sucks, but it's going to take me a while, but I'm going to get it done. Get right up in there, as close as I can, around the edge. We'll be good. It's going to be so sick. I cannot wait to do this. because this air compressor sucks, but just going around cutting the whole thing out and uh, then I'll have my actual hub assembly for my disc brake and um, it'll be super easy from there. Ray's over here getting me on the welder. Hi. Hello. 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 <laughs> Got it all cut off. That's off the complete hub like that. Oh shit. Do you see the vision, Ray? Yeah. Beautiful. Oh my god. And then the caliper will sit like right there. Then I just need to find a brake line that runs that far. Wow. I'm glad I didn't switch out to the small axle now because this is going to fit perfect. Wow. Well, just so you guys realize, a disc brake set for this back wheel is like 400 bucks total. I'm trying to make this completely free so uh, just the front wheel I'm, the only thing I will have to buy is the brake line and a left rear brake if I can't find one but yeah dude they're expensive if you look at my front wheel right here this is the piece I cut off from there and that holds the disc this is how it's set up up front I'm basically taking this set up and copying and moving it to the back this is gonna be a project so I'm gonna continue until uh, next time I pull this out and work on it if you guys don't like low skies, you're crazy. I go through artists super often, and I just like strictly listen to one artist for like a couple weeks, and I get annoyed with them, and I kind of swap off. That's how I listen to music. I just go through people's albums. But right now, low skies. I like low skies. Today is a good day. I want to start off this video by saying thank you to everybody because um, the channel's been killing it lately. Glad to see that you guys are liking the content and. Um, I want to keep it that way. So, we're going to keep doing some awesome videos. Today, I'm not sure what we're doing though. Um, I'm just going to work on the scooter. There's always stuff to upgrade. Also, I, Layla did buy me something for the scooter. That's right. My girlfriend bought me something for my moped. Some Q Hefner Red for the seat. Look at that. This is actually inside out, but this looks so far. It looks way more vibrant red on the camera when it's really, it's like a dark, dark red. I don't know if I like inside out, or it's like really really like texturized and crazy looking 
I'm gonna have to take pictures and ask people because this is a hard decision for me. Also, I think I'm just gonna glue this right on top of this old one. I put this old one on really, really good, and when I welded it, it kind of got melted to the plastic. I mean, melted to the foam underneath it, so instead of ripping the foam apart, I'm just gonna leave this bad boy on and put this on top. But while I'm waiting for everybody's answer to see what color I wanna do, whether inside out or the outside, um, I'm gonna go ahead and take the seat off because I gotta unscrew it from my frame and do all that stuff, so. asking how my seat is mounted. Um, I actually made a seat mount well it's a metal up here that bolts to the bottom of my seat um, then my seat bolts to the uh, tank right here. I made a battery box as well that's right here. You can watch my other videos on how I did that but <clears throat> this is what the underneath of my seat looks like. I got my gas tank bracket right here it's actually welded to my seat the little ring that usually goes in your trunk then that's welded to a support bar that then goes to the seat. And that looks like it's holding up pretty good down there still. And then this is actually a rack. And these brackets actually mount to that post sticking out right there. And then, uh, and this is just screwed in to hold the front of the rack to the seat because you can't really weld metal to plastic. So there's nothing else to do but screw it in somehow. This is what I came up with with strap screws over like that. And that's my seat. It's pretty beast. I'm really stoked on how it came out and I was really proud of myself for coming up with this design and I'm just glad it works. John said number one, Robert said number one, Juan said number one. So we're going with number one. It looks like we're going with what the boys said and we're going to the shiny side. So we're gonna get that Hugh Hefner, that glow baby. I'm gonna use a tiny bit of this glue, spray on my seat first, then stick the new cloth on, go ahead and cut it up and then I'm gonna staple it in, so. That's how I'm doing this. You guys should do it too. It's super easy to do this to your seat and it looks way better than the stock one. Um, super easy thing to do. You guys should do it. Before I continue with the seat, I know the beginning of this video is actually about this disc brake and um, this build I'm doing. But I'm currently on hold right now because Ray has my other rim at his house that I'm going to use to make the disc brake so I don't ruin the rim that's on mine. And that way if it's good, then I'll throw a tire on it and throw it on my uh, scooter. So that's kind of on hold right now. It might be tonight I pick it up, and I might finish it tonight, or it could possibly be the next video, but you guys have to watch this video and find out. I just gotta cut it all the way out around it now and then it's gonna be just glued it all the way down stapled it all the way in just did a few around just like so give it give it a good push roll it back give it a good push and give it a good push that's it dude how does it look one so look how different it looks on the camera compared to in here Look, the camera looks so red. Oh my. But it's actually so dark, like, about to bolt that back on. I'm thinking the vision for this now. As you can tell, I got a red caliper up here. This red is actually pretty close to what the seat is. Then I'm gonna get a red Mop Boy sticker. If you guys want red Mop Boy stickers, comment below because I will make a bunch. In my new, for my disc brake, I'm gonna have a uh, red brake. I'm also gonna buy a red brake for this side. And then I'll have the red seat, and then I'm going to redo my 12 bar because I want it shorter now so I can wheelie steeper. And my 12 bar is going to be about like right here. And I think I'm going to paint that the same color red. What do you guys think about that? And then this caliper will also be red. I think that would look so far. bolts and it's completely back together dude it looks so sick with the red oh the filter so dirty down there dude that looks good dude and it's so soft oh my god oh yeah just a good seat I couldn't help it but I'm ordering these brake levers right now this is gonna look so good guys freaking too fast Toto 3.0 already 
within like a month. I just changed it and I'm already changing it again. But this time it's literally gonna be like exactly what I want and it's gonna be so dialed because I'm a disc brake and then the, oh my God, oh my God, dude, I'm freaking, dude, I can't, I gotta order everything right now. <laughs> Guys, I even ordered 80 inch steel brake line hose for the left rear brake all the way to the rear uh, caliper. Oh, it's gonna look so good, I cannot believe this. It's gonna be so sick. But um, I seriously can't wait till that. So now my brake line's gonna be silver. I'll probably end up ordering one for this one too, just depending on uh, what it looks like when it gets here in person. I'll probably order one for that. That's gonna be silver as well. So I'm gonna have silver brake lines, red levers, red seat, uh, red calipers on both, black rims, and then red 12 bar. It's gonna look good. I might do red grips or something too. Oh my god, it's gonna be so sick. You know I couldn't end a video without a wheelie. It's been like, like five. No, it's been, yeah, it's been over like a week. It's been over a week since I've done any wheelies on it, so it might be a little bit rusty, but. Actually, it started pretty, pretty easy. He's cold, that's the cold start. It's way too cold out here. I'm ending this video here. Make sure to like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. That's how it is.